Hey guys, welcome to my 14th computer science tutorial. And what we are going to do today is logic gates. Now, remember how I told you how a 0 and a 1 creates everything in a computer. Now, it might have seemed really crazy and bizarre then, but today I'm going to teach you logic gates and how those zeros and ones can create logic. Now before I get started on all this fun stuff and juicy stuff over here you can see, we are actually going to start doing an example of a burglar alarm. Just to show you an uh, example, very simple example so you can get you head started into logic gates. Now we can see here, here is that we have a table now. Imagine if you have this burglar, a burglar alarm that it will go off if either the door is open or the window is smashed and it will go off. Now here I've drawn a table here and it shows that is the door open? No. Is the window open? Is the window smashed and broken and like the dude breaks it? No. Therefore the alarm will not go off because the alarm shouldn't go randomly go off if there's no burglar there. So let's see if the door is open. Oh no, the, the burglars are coming from the door. The alarm must be on, but the window's not open, so it'll still go on because we're crazy and we're afraid the burglar comes from the door. Now, if the door's not open, but the window is smashed. We will still make the alarm go off. Now, yeah, because we don't want the burglar to be there. Now, is the door open? Yes, and is the window smashed? This is the worst case scenario. If your door is open and the window smashed, then you've got two burglars or even more burglars in your house. So of course you have to make the alarm go off. Now, we can actually make this into zeros and ones. We can make this complex burglar alarm, not very complex, but a burglar alarm and put it into a zero and one. We can substitute the inputs. Now where are the inputs? is the door and the window smashed are the inputs. And we can substitute it and create it into an X and a Y. And after we substitute these as the X and Y, we can make 1 as yes, and then 0 as no. And that is basically the conversion. Now, let's get to the juicy part of this tutorial. Now, look at this. Oh damn, you can see my tripod. It's not good. Hey guys, so we are back, and this is our juicy part of the tour tutorial. Now, just then, we I actually showed you an OR gate with a burglar alarm. Now, the OR gate basically means, okay, is basically either X or Y is a 1, then it will create a 1 output. Just like just then. If either the window is smashed or either the door is smashed, then, of course, make the burglar alarm go off. Now that is the OR gate. Now here are the different types that I'll explain to you and not an AND gate I'll explain to you later. And here is the algebra thing and will be very useful later in the next tutorials where I'll show you more complex things. We'll need this instead of drawing these. Now let's see. Okay I'll teach you the NOT gate now. Now what the NOT gate does is basically it inverts the signal. So if we pass in a 1 here in the input, it'll give us a 0. So if the door is smashed, then it'll actually turn off the burglar alarm. And if the door is, if the window is, is not, is not smashed and no burglar is there, the burglar will go off. So basically if you want to put not gate inside your burglar alarm, it's sort of useless. And yeah, basically it inverts the signal. So basically if the door is open, it will not sound the alarm, but if it's closed, th then it will. Okay, think of it that way. Now, on the AND gate. Now, the AND gate means is it requires both of the inputs to be 1 to actually create a 1 output. Now, imagine um, here, in the, if we put this into our burglar alarm, the burglar alarm will only sound if the door and the window smashed are both open and smashed together. So if the door is open itself, it will actually not sound the burglar alarm. 
okay? Or if the window is smashed itself, it will actually not sound the burglar alarm. Now that is the AND gate. Now, I've shown you guys the uh, burglar alarm table over here, right? Now, that is, this is actually a truth table. You might have learned it in math already. But this is how we display truth tables inside burglar alarms. Now, I mean, no, no burglar alarms, logic gates. Okay, this is how you show it in logic gates. Now, here I've showed you, I've created a, lo um, a truth table with an AND gate. Alright, now as you can see, we can show this by here. So, we can say if X and Y is zero, then of course create zero, because it's an AND gate. It requires two ones to produce a one. Now, here, we have a zero and a one, and it gives us an output of a zero. Now, this is because it's an AND gate. Like I said before, it requires two ones, but this is only one one, to create an output. Now, we can see this is exactly the opposite of the other one. It's just that X is one, so it's create zero. Now, finally, we have two ones, and this is an AND gate, so therefore, it will create a one output. Now, this is implementing this into our burglar alarm, we can say, None of the doors are open, then zero. Okay, if one of the doors are open, if one of the doors are open and the window is not smashed, still don't open it because it's an AND gate, not an OR gate. And of course, after this, you do this, and if both of them are open, then sound the burglar alarm because this is an AND gate, not an OR gate. Now, in the next tutorial, I will teach you some very juicy things and very, very fun things. For example, this. It'll look like this, and then you can see it's very complicated and weird, but I will teach you this in the next tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time, brothers.